in here as you can see I have a scroll view then I had a parent linear layout to bind all these linear layouts in it and then I'm finally working on this particular linear layout which contains flat buttons of color blue pink and green that we are gonna be making in this video lecture right now hello and welcome all so our goal of this video lesson is to make up three buttons three flat buttons and my layout is ready my application is ready so I have this scroll view as the root element then I have a linear layout to get in all those linear layouts in it and finally I have this main linear layout in which we shall be working with and all of this have a width of match parent a height of match parent the linear layouts have an orientation of vertical in addition I've given this particular linear layout a padding of 16 dp and a background color that I have already defined in the colors.xml file over here so let's get started so now let me be making up three buttons I'll start with naming it up and closing the stack then I'll do the needful of getting my layout width and height so this is wrap content the height is also set to wrap content I'll quickly do a padding which is 16 dp Sorry, 10 dp for this otherwise it will look blotty and also a margin of 10 dp so see our button is shaping up over here as we keep doing the changes and let me do a last layout margin oh, sorry layout gravity and set it to center horizontal and we are all done now let me define the text which is this is a simple button as you can see we are writing over here with all capital letters and small letters but over here it's showing in all caps so if you want if you don't want this then simply so now simply do a text all caps and set it to false and you will see that the content is as it is that you have written but I won't mind this text all caps so I'll leave it like this then finally we have to play with the background property that is a goal so I'm just giving it a color of white so the hexadecimal value is three F's or six F's for white why because then I can go in here and choose any color of my choice from this color palette so I shall be choosing a blue color Okay, I've chosen it and see we have that color of our choice you can also play with the text color here it comes and you can set it to white so for white you can have three F's or six F's and also you can use Android color white so use anything of your choice and this is how we made our first button so all ready to go now let me be making my second button and close this one so I'm just gonna give it a width of wrap content height of wrap content padding of 10 dips and also a margin of 10 dips then finally layout gravity of center horizontal let me copy this up because we'll be working with this again in the next button and paste it over here so now let me define the text which is button with icon or the 
left and this one with the text that reads button with an icon on the right so now you need an icon right for this I'll go to my drawable over here then I'll right click it go to new and then go to this vector asset over here so I already have this but if you people won't have this clip art so just go into this I chose this from toggle star I pressed on ok I click on next and then I will click on finish then next I will be defining my drawable left and set it to add drawable so you have an icon on the left if you want an icon on the bottom you can apply this property instead bottom and here you have your icon at the bottom similarly you can do it with top and as I'm gonna show it to you all I'm gonna do it with right property drawable right and I'll set it to this and drawable I see star black 24 db so now if you want some spacing in between the icon and your text go in for drawable padding over here let me set it to 10 dp so that the spacing is quite visible and do the same thing over here so now all that is left is to play with the background colors over here I'll just give it a color accent because that color accent is having the pink already and it has been designed defined in my colors.xml over here I need a greenish color so the hexadecimal code for a green color is RR so I'll give it a 00, 00 dbb so let me give it an ff 00, 00 and we are all done but if you want some different shade of green you are most welcome to go into the color palette and choose it for you and then choose a little darker one and we are all done so this is how you can build your buttons using drawable left, drawable right, top and bottom properties and also of course the vector sets of the drawable folder so this is all and thank you for watching